Since 2017, South Carolina drivers have been paying more at the gas pumps to generate money for much needed infrastructure improvements. Our George Ray Godfrey found out today how that money is at the pump is doing more than repave and rebuild the roads. Orange construction cones and work zones are scattered throughout the state. A representation of the gas tax hard at work, but that extra money earned at the pump is doing more than just creating road projects. It's also creating jobs. South Carolina drivers are currently paying an extra 22 cents at the pump, a gradual increase that went into effect in 2017. We were uh, underfunded for 30 years. Money generated by the gas tax goes directly to South Carolina roads for small projects like safety improvements to larger projects like I-85 widening and resurfacing up in uh, Spartanburg, Cherokee County. <clears throat> and also here in the Midlands area, just above Columbia on I-26, uh, we're about to start, and by start I don't mean construction, but some of the preliminary work will begin on widening and resurfacing I-26. But in order for the Department of Transportation to keep up its end of the roads bill and get these projects up and running, an important piece of the puzzle is needed, workers. For a little bit there, we kind of lost a lot of them with the recession that they didn't come back, but now there seems to be more eagerness for, for people to get back into the industry. There are about 5,000 workers in the asphalt industry right now, but with ongoing and future DOT projects, those numbers are expected to increase. The industry is preparing for an additional 1,000 jobs in the next five years. We are hiring folks every day, and we are purchasing new equipment, and building new asphalt plants so that we can meet this increasing need of providing, um, of completing these projects. Since 2017, the state has collected more than $900 million with the gas tax. In Columbia, Georgia Godfrey, 7 News. They survived.